guys today I am gonna show you how to create login form in link you to SQL in C show application step by step first of all start Visual Studio then new project Windows for Windows form application okay then uh, design the form with two tag box and a button I will show you it in uh, start visual studio from the start menu just click on the visual microsoft visual studio 2010 if it's not display in the start menu here then click all programs microsoft visual studio click on the microsoft visual studio stunning then new project new project then windows in the uh, in the left fan visual c sharp Windows Windows application name there that Windows application name rename it with uh, my login form my login form it's uh, <coughs> stored in the D drive okay okay then Design it to it with uh, two tag box and a button. Windows Windows form the application okay. Then design design the form with two tag box and a button. Text box one. Text box two. Now I am gonna show you how to create stored procedure. And uh, change uh, and the student, label. Uh, uh, student phone number. I number change the text of label. This is label. I mean Go to the property the and change the text. To the ID, student ID. User. Now I am going to show you how name. to create the store procedure and far from the. And take the another uh, label. I just copied and paste for reducing the time. This is the uh, store procedure. Password. Drag a button. Button control. Just, just drag and drop the button control. Named it. Login. L O G I N. Login. Paste. Copy and paste. This is the heading. So I have to uh, maximize the font. Font is. Uh, 12 12 is enough and text is my login form my LOG login form ok then can be written here you know this is for designing I just change the back color of the form anything you can you can write it here according to the Okay, now it's looking if good, no? Go to the operation. Now, now our next slide. The <laughs> click the menu. Now I am gonna create a database and table. For doing that, click the menu, data, transact SQL, editor, new query connection. See that data in the menu. Data. data transact sql editor new query connection here select just windows authentication server name dot sql expression sql dot sql express you must write it equal equal dot sql express authentication name windows authentication just cl click on the connect as like our direction server name dot authentication windows authentication connect now create database and table insert record in the table student table so just student table has three id three name and three phone number which which id which uh, which guys phone that number i wanna change i will uh, my assign his id here then his uh, phone number will my login db you must select master to create database just after that okay command successfully now see that 
it's uh, my login db is my login db is created now in this database i am going to create a table create table my my login tab easily understand what what is this phone number and what is this previous phone number okay okay then id after change integer first of all i took the previous phone number then no need to just user name the new phone number and user name previous phone number i will store and marker according to id previous phone number i 50 I store in phone backup tab what we what we create first phone backup tab see that now primary key phone backup tab no? is already blank there is no data in phone backup tab insert into phone backup tab values password value id which id is phone number i change and for previous phone number previous phone number means the student table in the student table what phone and number marker uh, or exists first the previous phone just and date get it get it means debug okay then now see procedure, your computer has the select date star time, you know date time. from this date time my login db store this way, date time will insert in the you can you time. can this erase it now get no need it again there is no username no, and password so i am going to connect it with server explorer for uh, connecting in link you see that add a link you to dml file to drag the table if you execute from visual studio integrated system uh, click on the data click on data transact sql editor from server sql express my data is server explorer sql express connect i just connect it this is my application add new item from the new item see that link to sql classes default name is data class 1 you can uh, put it default data class 1 or you can change it it's created now our database name is my login db my login db is not available in this server explorer so from the server explorer you should connect it first data connection add new connection dot sql double s sql express just replace it see that my login db is added in the server explorer see that there is only one table you know only one table in the server explorer in the dbml file just drag the table just drag the table and drag and drop the table here see that there is no record yet now i am gonna make two record password one two three four five Four, one two three four and one two three four five. Okay then, save it. Oh, not necessary. See that now. Two record added. I just closed it. And now our operation is approx done. Write the code in the button click event. This is my our button. Just double click it, write the code in the button click event. First of all, we should connect the DBML file, link you file for having it data class one. Our DBML file's name is data and data class one and data context is automatically added. See that data class one dot dbml. This data class one data context. Context is db equal to new it will be stored in phone backup table and the five uh, two id Sorry. is zero five eight five data class one data context db equal to new data class one data context and replaced with zero five just write the code in there see follow the button click event Exit if to those now i'll <laughs> first of all see that bar i just execute equal to or you can write it as that phone number is changed phone number is changed replaced equal and to the previous phone number 0585 stored as 
the id is db the id dot is 2 and when this is changed puff uh, fifth november my login tab sorry my login tabs I, you, this is your this table name and s uh, automatically uh, added for the system where s dot s is the alias username equal to you must put the double equal text box one dot text then select s dot past for showing better I just Thanks to enter see this video okay if and helpful, if please subscribe user dot pass equal to hello guys today I'm gonna show you how to textbooks to dot text textbooks to is password then where it will go we we just take a new for a new windows form main form main main form named main form when the condition will okay mean login will okay then it will redirect to the main form see that this is our main form I will update this phone number in this main form phone by a joining equal to new main form a dot a dot show and this dot hide this dot this dot hide else if password will not be correct then what happen else message box it will show a message box password error we are we gonna execute it now see that username our username was w s h a n our username was roshan and password was 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, login uh, I okay then i make it alias o <laughs> you see the password not look like password so for uh, it it display the character uh, to avoid this you just uh, change the use system password card to true if you select it true then the password will uh, like that see again username w -h -h if I, I just password it just four character I typed this is error it displayed the password error if the correct password one two three four five click the login it's redirect to the login I think you understand how to create login with uh, with link you to SQL DBML and connect with SQL server uh, to your project okay thanks to see this video if you think as helpful please subscribe me